Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to my first impressions of Slash's Keep, a procedurally generated roguelike game with a heavy emphasis on melee and combat magic, whereby the enemies are 2D, but the whole world you play in is fully 3D. Slightly a weird combination of things, and uh, I'm not quite behind the whole 2D sprite enemies attacking you, but though it does give it a nice nostalgic feel, um, the world and the game are actually kind of pretty beautiful in their own cartoony little way. Uh, we'll get into the game really quickly, but first let's take a look at the options menu. So, uh, field of view slider, thank you. Different volume sliders, help head blobbing on or off, very useful, all of these, cheers for them. Uh, but not much in the way of actual graphical fidelity options, though I believe Y will become apparent when we actually get into the game. Now, I've played for a couple of hours, actually probably a little, a little bit more, around three hours, I think, which for a first impressions video I think is actually pretty darn neat, though I have not been able to unlock anything yet of the, uh, or any of the new characters at least. Um, let's play with, like, um, an Amazonian character, I guess. Um, the Red Witness. Let's go with, like, a Maiden. Sure, a Maiden pure and fair. Um, and let's start. There you go. There is an easy mode, there is a permadeath mode as well, but we're just going to play on normal, and uh, I believe the gameplay is the thing that matters the most here. So we're going to do the tutorial, and we're going to go through the basics, and I'll explain to you what you can find in the game. Hopefully, relatively quickly. So... I just walk out, the door is, um, well, it's not much of a door anymore, is it? Good. Now, uh, first important thing is, uh, well, no need for a key, I suppose, is there. There is an inventory system. Um, in the inventory system, you can find various things, such as shoulder pieces, axes, different pieces of armor, gloves, talismans, rings, wands as well, which is sort of the FPS aspect of the game, and then, you know, your proper melee weapons. Um, at the very least, early on, the game seems to focus a little bit more on melee than on uh, range combat magic and wands and stuff, but maybe that changes uh, as you get deeper into the game. Maybe it doesn't, who knows? Uh, like I said, I haven't played that much of it. Now, uh, the most probably interesting and nuanced uh, thing about the, the game mechanics-wise and gameplay-wise is the combat. Um, as the tutorial explains, pretty straightforward and simply, uh, you, have, you, you can block in this game and you can strike with your melee weapon and then magic is a different thing enti entirely and so are your abilities, but we'll get into those in a bit, in a bit when we actually start leveling up. Um, what you do have is this, however. Yeah, you can do that too. Sorry, uh, not what I meant. Uh, I meant to show the um, the the blocking and uh... hello. Well, okay, works for me. Um, so basically, the way you block is not just, you don't just hold down the right uh, the right mouse button, or if you're playing on the controller, it's probably like one of the two triggers or something. I assume. I haven't tr I haven't tried this on controller yet. Um, I wouldn't be paying this much attention to the block, or, or, or giving this much attention to the entire blocking part of the game if um, if it was if it was that simple. So the way you block in this game is you actually um... oh that is horrible. Okay, come here. Yeah, nearly got you. There you go, you little bugger. Okay, thank you very much. This will come in most useful. Sodding hell. Okay, we're going to need to take a look through our inventory after this, but um, there is di directional blocking, essentially. That's, that's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sum it up as that. If an attack is coming from the left, that is, the enemy is using his left hand and is generally sweeping in from the left, you hold the block button and then you sort of point to the attack. So you point to the left, and if you do it successfully, you take no damage. If you do it unsuccessfully and maybe pointing in the wrong direction, you just take less damage than you would if you weren't to block at all. Now, we actually found the end of the level here, I believe this is where you go up to level 2, but we haven't explored anything yet, so let's do that. And also, um, let's go into the inventory and, um, I suppose put on some, some clothes, right? Uh, there's pants. I don't like the, the icon for pants, I much prefer the traditional one where it's like, you know, they're, they're unfolded and everything, but, eh, okay. Uh, I suppose there is consumables, as you can see, you can put them in the hotbar down here. And I guess we're going to get the commoner's axe and we can throw this away, probably. 
uh, life steal is going to be useful. This we can't use yet, so that's okay. Uh, I'm not a big fan of swords because, well, they don't do a lot of damage, and uh, super fast is nice, but eh, unnecessary. Anyways, let's keep on going here, and this is going to be a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. Uh, I expect it, and also, probably shouldn't have done that in all due honesty. Also, we are going to level up soon, so I can sort of almost tank most of these enemies. Okay, can you can you please stop hitting me though? That I, I I said I can tank you, but I can't die to you. That would be quite unfortunate. Sodding hell, that was a load of damage. Okay, right, you try and hit me. Good, and then... Okay, ow. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, hit me. Somehow I'm not dead yet. Somehow I'm not dead yet. I also haven't leveled up yet. Which is a little bit worrying, but never mind. There is food in the environment, so let's do that. Do that once I know. Let's let's take advantage of that is what I meant. Okay, good. Should restore a fair bit of health this. And we can continue on unless I've eaten something that's gonna poison me. Which I have. Which is most unfortunate. Yeah, I've eaten moldy food. That is, overall, 1 out of 10. Do not recommend. Okay. Good. We, we do get some amount of health back. And I think if we eat these maggots, that gives me a little bit of health too. As disgusting as that might be. Uh, there are secrets in the game as well, but let's focus a little bit more on the... Um, on the art style, I suppose. Um, so these things are 2D as well, and they scare the crap out of me, but I think it works. I think the whole visual style and, and the art style of, of the whole game, I think, works really, really well. It's really easy to identify different um, aspects and different... Um, how do I put it? Like, different segments of the gameplay. Right, I have nothing to sacrifice to that altar yet. Uh, it's it's kind of easy to identify. Like clearly, that's an explosive barrel, and I don't know if I'm gonna if I hit it, it's, it's gonna explode or not. I haven't tried that yet, but that seems like a foolish thing to do. Um, let's just say it really quickly. <clears throat> Sorry, but I'm assuming if I throw a bomb, it's gonna create an extra large explosion. Um, the spikes and the stuff, it's really like intuitive and easy to use, and like you know, I can use that to my advantage by slapping someone at the inventory bag and you know, pushing them on the spikes. I think it also grants. Um, I think it also grants extra experience if you do that, like if you if you find creative ways of uh, killing your opponents. Like that, do I no longer have the, the thing? Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay. They do sometimes do that though. The enemies, and uh, I think here is where the, the whole 2D part of of the experience sort of... Um, Sort of fails a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's it's not entirely great, you know. That that that's not entirely great. Let's use the map and reveal more about our surroundings. Soon though, I will level up, so that will hopefully restore some of my health. Also, he managed to hit me, and he managed to hit me as well. When they glitch out like that, I don't recommend fighting them. Though I suppose I could just move in and, and hit and then sort of run away. I suppose this works as well. Uh, we've leveled up. I'll talk about the, the, the whole level up part of the game as well and, and the levels and, and stats and stuff. It is fairly simple though. Um, I haven't seen a lot of the game so far, so I, I, like I said, I haven't unlocked many of the characters. So I'm not sure if um, if one particular character, for example, focuses on magic more than than these uh, starting ones. I'm assuming that that you know you do eventually find someone like that. 
but this is, okay, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Oh, that was a horrible dodge. Okay, down you go. And you. And down you go too. My favorite part about all of this is you actually, um, you don't actually lose anything. You know, they just conveniently drop their gear right there and anything they were carrying. Really encourages some creative um, use of the environment. And this and there's like another enemy type. Huge variety of enemies in this game. I, I really gotta say, I love it. Um, Oh, you can't block that, okay. I've never seen them do that, and I've fought like several of these rat people, and I've never seen them do that. That is interesting. Okay, there's actually no need to, to wear these. I'll just throw this all away, since I'm not exactly going to be finding anything like a shop anytime soon. Um, oh well. Let's use the wand and actually, um, let's use this to restore ammunition to the wand as well. Uh -huh. And now we can play it more like an FPS, which. Oh. Did I pick up invincibility? Yeah, that's invincibility. Okay, took a little bit of a... Uh, well, honestly, it took, took quite a lot to understand that. Um, Time-wise, you know, it took me way longer than it should have, but... Here we are nonetheless. Now... Like I said, in order to really determine the, the, the full replayability of the game and its value and whether it's worth your time or not, I'm gonna die here. Uh, you, you will need to... Really? Ah, oh, come on, that's a little bit bullshit. Um, Alright, let's, let's, let's try again. Uh, in order to really fully determine the value of the game, you, you will need to, like, obviously ask someone that has played this for, you know, like 100 or 120 hours, and then they'll tell you, well, you know what, actually it, was, it wasn't worth it, or, or it was. As far as first impressions go, I'm really impressed with all the, the different things available and it's still in early access uh, mind you I think actually I think I, I think the full release comes out tomorrow or something like that mind you on the day of recording so you know might have all, might already be out by the time I I upload this and edit and edit it and everything however um, be that as it may the game really really does a lot of things right the only slight problem with it that I have is that the enemies tend to like bug out sometimes. Um, especially when you're not fighting them on a, on a level playing field. Yeah, right, just, just sod off, because I'm gonna level up soon anyway, and that's, that's not gonna be a problem. Um, how the hell am I gonna kill you? I wish there was some, some way I could stun you, that would be really nice. I just realized I haven't leveled up in the previous character either, so I didn't get a chance to talk about that as well, but eh. Can I block? No. Okay. Not great, not perfect, but it is what it is. Lost a huge amount of health, though we could eat these maggots. That will uh, restore a honestly not insignificant amount of it. Good. So, let's, let's keep on moving. Is there anyone I can, I can hurl at these spikes? Probably not, okay. Honestly, not quite sure what I expected there, but meh. Oh, really? Another room like this? Okay. Uh, come here. Yeah. Okay, someone else? <laughs> Very important to be to be creative, okay? Creativity, most important. He says as he dies once again. I think I've slowly accepted my fate. Never mind. I forget I said that. 
Oh, come on, that was... <laughs> All right, let's load into the... Um... This is this is horrible. I've just realised how bad I am at the game when I'm actually um, when I'm actually trying to talk about it at the same time. Probably should have done this differently. Here's a different character that I've actually made it um, somewhat, you know, somewhat far into in uh, into the game that um, you know we can actually talk about stuff. So you have different stats, and as you level up, you're going to, you're going to unlock these. You're not not unlock these, but you're going to get you're going to put more points into these. What you will unlock are various abilities. So, for example, I have Backstabber. Betrayal has left you burning with a mark on your soul. Your sneak attacks do an additional 25% bonus damage. Right, cool. And you can actually put points into these, and um, and obviously as you level up, new ones will become unlocked. So some of these are obviously passive, some of these will be active, uh, and so on and so on. Um, good. So. That's not what I wanted to do, but there's a demonstration that bombs are a thing, and you can throw them. Cool. Uh, good. Now, I think well, I'm actually nearing towards the end of the level, and you'll excuse me, I am a little bit lost on this playthrough, which is why I wanted to start a new one, but apparently that wasn't a great idea either. Okay. Let's go this way. There is a map on the top left of the screen, and other than, like, the two... You can see the, the outside as well, which is very, very beautiful. Um, other than the, like, the, the the only two real nitpicks I have about the game, other than the one I already mentioned, which is that enemies sometimes tend to be a little bit buggy in their, um, in the way that they fight you when not on open, uh, or not on open ground, not on uh, level, uh, level uh, ground. Uh, you know, you'll block like this, but he'll hit you again if he's above you. It's kind of a little bit weird, but eh, okay. Uh, be that as it may, like, that example, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain I blocked that, see? Eh, Alright. Maybe I need more exaggerated moves. Obviously they do, I think they get a little bit quicker as you, uh, as you move along. Now what is this? Connects to the to connects all floors of the keep. Uh, we put into a chest in your cell block. Oh, in my cell block. So when I die, I get to keep some of these. Interesting. Let's put the melee knockback one and the life steal one. I think I can put this as well since I don't really need it. Well, that's about it. I don't really want to put anything else in there. Also, there's something like. A shop in this direction. At least I would assume that's what it is. Can I leave the. No. I wanted to use the health. I wanted to use the health potions. I had a few of those. Ugh. Doesn't matter. Anyways. I think I've showed you the basics of the game. It's not really. Um, the most successful of all first impressions that I've ever done, but honestly, I think you get the gist of it. Um, the fact that I'm terrible at it doesn't seem to help, or I won't really help with, um, well, with anything. Your first impressions or anything of the sort, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Block, hit, block, hit, and uh, it's a roguelite. And to be fair, though, um, if I if I have like one criticism of the game, uh, I've made it to floor three previously. Um, if I have one criticism of the game, it's that yes, it's procedurally generated. There are slight differences in like the rooms and stuff, but slight. Obviously, the rooms don't exactly repeat one for one, but they're not that different either. Uh, sometimes the enemies bug out a little bit, and... Yeah, that's that's about it. But those are, like, really, really tiny little problems that I have with the game based on my first impressions of it. Again, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll change my mind later. Um, but other than that, it's, it's a really fun roguelite, and I really like that, um, that rooms aren't exactly set in stone. I mean... Sure enough, when you move into a room, it locks uh, locks the door behind you, and you need to fight it, uh, fight the enemies there until um, until you've killed them all. But 
Um, you can also like bait them out like this, and it's it's not like um, it, it does allow for quite a bit of freedom. Um, exploration is also fairly important, but God forbid you fight someone that has the high ground on you because uh, well it's over Anakin, he has the high ground. Um, that's about it. Other than that, you can get really good at fighting um, in the games to the point where health doesn't really become a problem, but it is going to take uh, some good reflexes and quite a bit of practice. So, other than that, those guys are annoying as all hell, as all I can tell you. Um, good. That's I think that, that's going to be it for the video. Um, the price for the game is rather reasonable. Um, at least for me, obviously, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. And you can check it out for yourselves. Uh, regional equivalents will vary, so you know, it might be a little bit more expensive for you than than for me, or vice versa. So I'm just gonna put a link in the to the Steam page down below. You can check it out for yourselves. Um, I do recommend the game. It is really, really fun. It's a great roguelite. Um, one of the better ones I've played since The Binding of Isaac, which is probably my favorite of all time. Um, Spelunky, not really my thing, but people love it as you know. Um, equally much, though that's very different, I suppose. We're talking about two, two very different types of roguelites here. Um, it is fun. If you're a fan of roguelites, I think you should definitely, definitely give it a shot. And um, if the idea of dying and, 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 and trying to, to defeat your enemies over and over again excites you, um, and, and you like the sort of slow progression that, that games of this type offer, then uh, definitely, definitely give it a shot. As for everything else, for now, my name is Regional. Thank you very much for watching. Um, see, that should have totally been a block, but you need to be really precise with the way you block. So, like, uh, you need to put the mouse pointer on the item attacking you, right? Could be a hand, could be a claw, could be anything else, really. But you do need to uh, need to actually, like, really point at the thing that's attacking you rather than just in the general, the vague general direction. So, you know, quite a bit of skill involved, but... Uh, yeah, I think, that, think that's about it. There's not a lot of RNG uh, that's, you know, I mean, the, everything is randomly generated, but you're never really going to get screwed over by the game all that much. Sometimes you'll, you'll get some difficult rooms, like a few difficult rooms in a row without any health drops. I think that's, uh, that's probably one of the, the most difficult things you can, um, you can face. But that said, um, that said, the game is kind of pretty all right with its with its random elements it's it's not that that's the, that the difficulty comes from it's uh, more just the actual combat and uh, survivability and everything so let's actually sacrifice some stuff here so you can see how that works oh i really like this though though it requires five intelligence which i do have um yeah you know what i'll use this um put this here And what if I drop like stuff like this? I'm punished. Okay, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can't give it trash. You need to give it actual decent items. I think green or above is when it's going to reward you. But anyways, I think this is enough for this video. You, you get the general gist of it. I really like the game. I really, really do. Oh, here's this bugger again. Oh, that, one's, that, was, that was really, really nice. Okay, awesome. Um... I think I want to give this to the, uh... Do you have anything good on you? Probably not. I think I want to give this to the altar. Backtrack for some for some extra rewards. Figure that was hard, the, the hard way. You need to stand on it in order to actually sacrifice stuff to it. Uh, and it's going to reward me with some health. Alright. You know, it's, it's better than what I could do with the, with the thing. Let's drink it and, uh... Keep on moving on, and uh, I'll be playing this definitely in my spare time, as I really, really do enjoy the game. Uh, I didn't pick up the key, did I? Yeah, there we go. Good. Uh, also should probably put on some of these things, as uh, I don't actually have any armor. And there we go. And a hat. Good. Fashion. Fashion in a roguelite. Surely nothing bad will come of me. Uh, will come from me uh, preferring to focus on the fashion rather than uh, than the actual gameplay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that that'll be it for now. Definitely recommend it. Super super fun. Um, don't have a lot to say, but it is fairly replayable. You get quite a lot of value for your money. 
um, if you're interested in, in, in something like this in the genre or uh, anything you see particularly fan uh, you know tickles your fancy but that should have been it oh this is a good mace oh we found our favorite weapon I think definitely um, I, I think I sort of interrupted myself halfway through a sentence back there uh, the one sort of, not really problem, but criticism I have of the game, other than the the fact that they slightly glitch out sometimes, the enemies, well, especially when, you know, high ground and everything, I talk about it, um, is that the map is static and that it doesn't move. Now, whilst on one hand that sort of gives you a good idea of the size of the level and, and where you should be going and everything, at the same time, I have no idea where I am sometimes. <laughs> It gets a little bit disorientating, so, yeah. You know. I do love the mace, though. I really love the mace. Alright, enjoy it. Yes, fear it. Excellent. By far, I think, the best weapon I've had so far, at least for this stage of the game. For the, uh, for the first floor. Are you... You're a very interesting enemy. These slow... Poison attacks, I assume, uh, remind me of Isaac quite a bit, and that's uh, it's only a good thing, trust me. Oh, I can kill you in one hit. Truly, I am a powerhouse. My power knows no limit. Did I try and... I think that's definitely the stupidest thing I've tried to do so far. Is try to kill a bug by pushing it like, down a hole, or, or trying to, like, knock it off an edge or something. A flying enemy, yes. Alright, well, at least that killed it. Good. What's I gonna do if it didn't? If I didn't have any wands? Well, I guess you should always bring some type of, uh, of ranged weaponry, I suppose. Anyways, I think that'll be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will see you all in the next video, hopefully. But, um, until then... Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed, and uh, why stay tuned with the rest of the content. Hey, we've leveled up. Lovely, lovely. Um, until next time, have fun, take care, and bye-bye. Uh,